Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Welcome to my latest cyber mystery, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click on the tutorial button to learn how to play the game. Dear Beth, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. It's stuck. It's locked.
Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. How do you know I don't believe in ghosts? <laughs> I know many things. I know how to communicate with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. Watch out. They may give you a rough time just to get your attention. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Any more information on Mr. Valdez? Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Um. Nancy, I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? I sure am. This house must have quite a history. What do you know about it? Not very much, but Abby found some interesting old papers that might give us clues about the history of the house. They're in the parlor if you want to take a peek. There's also an old-time saloon in the basement, so it's possible the house was once a hotel. A saloon? Oh, this place really does have a history. Who was the original owner? Almost all the records on these old houses were destroyed in the Great Earthquake. So we don't know much about the origins of the place. Abby thinks all our accidents were caused by some restless spirit or a curse. I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy.
I did it! How's that inlay puzzle coming along? I finished it! Wonderful! But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. What is Abby planning for tonight? She's putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. I should wait until he leaves. It's stuck. Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work. But I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. What do you know about the history of this house? Not much. Uh, Lewis told me it was built in the 1880s and that it survived the 1906 earthquake. Who's Lewis? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. 
Do you have any idea why there's been so many accidents on this project? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. a paint scraper.